Hey y'all, this is Amanda with She's a Mad Gardener. I am in front of Ikea. I'm sorry I look so tired. Um, it's early in the morning. I want to get here early so I can film some things for you guys. I am about to go through and do a shop with me at Ikea and I'm going to be looking at items mainly focused on gardening. I'm going to look at obviously the items that they have set aside for gardening. I'm going to look at some of their house plants, things along those lines, but I'm also going to look for items that you wouldn't ne necessarily choose for gardening um, at Ikea. So things that can be adapted and changed and utilized in a creative way. Um, I'm really excited. I like shopping at Ikea. I like the organization. I love that they have all different kinds of setups for you to look at. I like a lot of the prices are fabulous. Um, which is great. And I'm lucky to have an Ikea that's not too far away. It's about 45 minutes away from me. Uh, however, if you don't have an Ikea in your area, you can order online from them. Um, that's an option as well. Or if you have one that's you maybe a couple hours away, it's worth a day trip. It's worth going out there and having like, you know, just spending a day out there. I would highly suggest that you do research on their website prior to going out there just because it can be so overwhelming. Um, once you get out there, there's just so much stuff. Uh, it's a lot. I prefer to go to Ikea first thing in the morning as soon as it opens. I try never to go on a Saturday because it's awful, awful. Um, it's just so many people and so much going on and it's just very overwhelming. So I am here first thing um, in the morning to check everything out. But you guys come along with me, check out what I have um, to show you and I can't wait to show you some creative ideas. Now, remember if you're new here, make sure you um, subscribe and if you're an old friend, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when my latest videos come out. Okay, as we go through this video, I am not going to try to use my Texan accent to pronounce these uh, Swedish words. It's just not gonna happen, y'all. So bear with me, and as we go through the products, I'll be sure to show you the tag so you can see the name and see some of the pricing. But let's start with this particular unit. It is a metal unit with glass shelves, and it would be fabulous for plant display either inside or outside. It comes in a number of configurations. Okay, this product has been hot, hot, hot all over Pinterest, the internet, YouTube, everything. Everybody's picking them up and turning them into DIY plant cabinets. So storage for your plants, they're adding LED lights, they're adding misters, fans, everything, and it stores them beautifully. Check out some of these ideas. Here's a slightly different variation of a similar product, but it kind of will do the same job for you storing your plants. And this is the product that I picked up for my dining room. I purchased two of these and I can't wait to show you how I use them in a future video. Ikea has a great set of carts. These are so versatile and can be used in so many different ways. They're very popular as crafting carts, storage carts in your kitchen, etc. but you can do fabulous things with them for plants. The best thing about them is they have grates. So grates in between each of the shelves so it allows water, soil, everything to flow through. Look at these fabulous ideas. They're available in several different styles, colors, so whether you're modern, cutesy, maybe mid-century modern, whatever kind of works best for your look and style, but the prices are great, the style is beautiful, the products are on wheels, so easy to move around. This is just something, this is a can't-lose product right here.
So this is one of the other products that I was considering for my dining room, but ultimately decided against. But as I was videoing them, I was really drawn to these prints that were in the center. They are herb and vegetable prints, kind of a vintage look. I thought the price was fantastic. Um, at this price, I would not feel guilty putting them outside at all. They can be fabulous outside decor, but of course you can use them inside too. So my friend Kristen always teases me for the way I say cloche. I've always said cloche and she's like, yeah, girl, no. But look at these fabulous cloches um, that you can utilize. They're fabulous for storing succulents, moss, little fairy gardens, great price and great look. So with a recent cloche in mind, I was really drawn to these jars because they can be utilized as little terrariums as well. Um, you can use for succulents, you can maybe store fresh herbs in your refrigerator with them. You can do some super cute stuff. I really like this little design with this sweet little house. I thought what a great inspiration idea. And out of all of them, I was drawn to this jar in particular because it has a nice wide opening so it would be easy to get all the plants inside. I've seen these baskets all over Pinterest and YouTube as well. Of course, you can store blankets and things along those lines. They'd be beautiful as a holder for indoor plants, but I've also seen people utilizing them as lights flipping them upside down and using them as a light fixture shade. These little baskets are just so stinking cute. I have no idea how to use them in the garden, but I love them. And as I was looking at them, I saw this adorable black basket to the side that would be great for holding indoor plants on display. I couldn't figure out what this was in the beginning, so I kind of opened it up and looked at it, and I realized that it is like a bag basket that you can hang on the wall for storage. So imagine this outside filled with ivy or pansies or something just flowing right over the edge. It would be absolutely beautiful in your garden. Here is what it looks like on the IKEA website. Similar thing with this particular product, I didn't know what it was. And so I had to put the camera down and then I folded back the edges and I just love the soft texture of this particular basket. It would be beautiful wrapped around a fig leaf tree or some type of indoor plant. I also love this white creamy basket as a, also a storage holder for an indoor plant. I actually picked up those self-adhesive round hooks to hang up hats in my husband's closet, but I was really drawn to some of these other hooks. This one in particular would be a great plant holder with a very modern clean line style. This is one of my favorite products. It's actually just a trash can, but they're so inexpensive and versatile. So if you need some great pots to put your tomato plants in, peppers or whatever, these are a great way to start, only $1.29 each. But look at this fabulous idea from another blogger and look what she did to create a plant stand using two of these trash cans. This is part of their new product line for gardening. It is a rail that you secure to a fence or a wall and then you hang different sized pots from it. This is a long planter. It's galvanized and rust resistant. Very cool colors, very subtle and soft. And then you can even kind of swing over to this one right beside it, which is a ladder with additional hanging pots. So I like this idea of utilizing wall space for planting. Y'all know how much I love to bring my flowers indoors. So in this particular area, a lot of different bowls and vessels, which could be beautifully lined with moss and then planted up with spring bowls, bulbs, would just be beautiful. Hyacinths, tulips, paper whites, even beautiful for Christmas amaryllis. But they had a wide selection and I love how they were wide set, but I also love that I could line it with the moss. And so I kind of had a mix of the modern and rustic. 
So I propagate a lot of succulents um, and I was drawn to this particular bowl because I could put a thin layer of soil and then lay my succulents across it and it could still be beautiful in my home. Just thought you guys might be drawn to something like that. And then as I was looking and I saw these adorable ceramic cacti, I just want to get them all and incorporate them in a fairy garden ASAP. If you haven't seen any of my flower arranging videos, be sure to check them out. I'm completely obsessed with my cut garden, my cut flower garden, and utilizing them in different vases and arrangements and bringing them into my house. So when I started seeing the vases at Ikea, I was freaking out. So many different cool styles, unique. Nothing was overly too big, which I loved as well. And so they were really fun to look at. This one in particular I thought was super cool because of the shape of it. You can actually put kind of like a net liner at that portion of the vase, fill it with soil and a plant and actually have a cotton um, wick go down to water at the base. This could be a really cool idea and I might end up doing a video on that. I thought these would be a really fun, cute gift for someone, the little vases, and then filling them with your own floral. You can see here in this photo from the Ikea website, they're just fun, happy, versatile little vases. So consider this one for a gift. There were a wide variety of other vases from white to pink to clear to opaque, just endless ideas. I love some of the ones with the little tiny openings at the top. Everything was of an appropriate size, which I love so much. And then I saw this vase over here. It is a smaller version of the one I was talking about earlier, where you would fill it with water at the base, put a liner um, to kind of divide the water in the soil and plant a plant on the top portion with a cotton wick going down into the water to feed the plant. Loved this matte pink vase. I thought it would be fabulous to utilize for Mother's Day. You could have your children put a handprint on it and then do it as a gift. Beautiful, inexpensive, and so creative. And these little vases came home with me. I love how quirky they are and I love the clean style. And look how fabulous they look filled with sweet blooms. I cannot wait to use them once my spring cut flowers come about. Here's the cloches that I showed you earlier on in the video. They come in a wide variety of sizes and styles, and they also have a wide variety of bases that you can buy, whether wood, metal, or ceramic. So versatile and unique. I love giving gardening gifts, and I thought these little votives are super sweet and would be great holding succulents or small plants as a gift. And at a price of $1.99 each, you can't beat that. Ikea has carried this particular lantern for quite a while, and I love how this particular blogger utilized them as a terrarium. What a fun and unique idea. They have lanterns in a wide variety of styles, so you don't have to pick just this one. Actually, here's one of their new lines, which is a little bit clean and more modern than the one before. I love the price of these particular pots, but I did notice they don't have a hole in the bottom. However, they do have a lip in the inside so that the water will fall to the base and your plant will sit at the lip level. So that kind of works as well, but you can always use a diamond bit um, drill bit and go ahead and drill holes into the bottom if you need to.
Here's a series of unique displays. These are hanging planters that you hook together. So you can do one, two, three, four, or 10 uh, links long. And then here's some uh, different plant stands. I didn't think that they were anything particularly special. And I was a little surprised at the price. Thought they might be a little less expensive, but I loved this particular glass terrarium. What a cool use um, for storing some of your products. I thought that that would be fabulous as home decor as well, but take a look at them, which is something as simple as cacti inside. Here's a few more ways to utilize the wall as a planting area, a ladder with hanging pots on it, um, a couple of different uh, plant stands that fit into the corner and are more vertical to store your plants. And then I really loved some of these setups with the lattice in the background. So it's a bench in front, lattice in the back. I thought that's very cool. It could be utilized inside, it could be utilized outside. And I really like what some of these designers did with this overall design, adding pillows, softening it up, and really making it a focal point on their patio spaces. Here's a series of metal plant stands with very simple, clean lines. I like some of the soft, subtle colors. Love these baskets with an ombre effect on them. Some of them are two together. Some of them are singles. Some of them are long trays. Very beautiful, versatile pieces. And you can always paint them to the color that you want. Okay, let's talk about planters or pots. I love texture. So any kind of container or vessel that's gonna have some texture is gonna be a yes for me. Even this particular rattan basket, it came with a liner, which was fabulous as well. So it just made the piece easy to bring home, inexpensive and great decor for your indoor plants. They had everything from concrete to woven, um, baskets to all kinds of varieties and colors and shapes and sizes. Love these green planters. They were heavy, heavy planters. No hole on the bottom, but they do have that lip at the base so that your plant um, in its pot will only slide so far down. So any extra water will collect at the bottom instead of your roots sitting in water all the time. Love this piece, love the soft color. There sure was a lot of green this year in Ikea products, and I love this particular line of pots. I love the name Sharon Fruk. I thought that was fun. And you'll see later on in the videos that there are a couple of more pots that complement that particular one. Lots of clean modern pots as well. I felt like the prices were pretty good. You might be able to beat those prices somewhere else, but since there were so many things all in one place that complement each other, that's one of the great things about Ikea. So you can use it as like kind of a one-stop shop if you're looking for a particular collection um, to display in your home. Here's those other green pots that are part of that share and fruit design. I love this particular watering can. I thought it was so beautiful that it would actually look great just sitting out in your home. Obviously you can use it as a watering can, but you could also use it as a planter. Just beautiful, but functional. I also saw these. These are basically indicators to tell you when you need to water your plant. When your plant's fine, there's no light. When your plant needs water, that little green light at the top goes on. 
very cute, but at $5 a pop, I really wasn't interested um, just because I have so many house plants that it just wouldn't work for me. But still a very cool idea. A lot of varieties of watering cans. I really like this particular design. It is just fun, whimsical, and once again, would look beautiful sitting on a shelf. I love things that are both functional and gorgeous. I saw this planter from across the room and literally ran over there. It's the perfect combination of colors for my home, a dusty blue, natural tones. I couldn't find the price for it anywhere. I love that it already came with a liner in the inside. You can see me looking around being like, what the heck is the price for this? Could not find it. So I felt like that was an indicator and I left it behind, but I did take a photo of it. So maybe I'll return in a month or two and pick it up when I have the perfect houseplant to go inside it. Look at all the pots available. All beautiful, simple, clean lines and great prices. On the way out, I saw this boho macrame holder. Thought my boho friends would love a good look at that particular one. Okay, you guys, it is the next day. I am working and editing this video. I'm hanging out. You can also see <clears throat> all my seeds getting their light, got their fans on, growing well. But I wanted to touch base with a couple of things now that you guys have gone through the IKEA tour. Um, a couple important things to remember, um, some pro tips. When you get there, go to the bathroom. <laughs> Um, there's only one bathroom in the store and if you get all the way to the back of the warehouse and then you got to go back up from the bathroom, it sucks. It's not fun at all. Um, secondly, I highly suggest that, uh, you bring water. Um, there are places that there that you can buy drinks or whatever, but I always, um, bring water so that, um, I can stop and take a break, rest, things along those lines. Third pro tip. This is by far the most important tip use your phone and take photos of things that you love. Make sure you take a photo of what the actual object looks like and make sure you take a photo of the tag that's attached to it because each of those tags has a particular number that links that product to somewhere in the warehouse. And you wanna have that information if you get to the end and you want something and you wanna ask one of the sales associates to help you out. So super important, don't try to memorize it, don't try to write it down, just use your phone, take some pictures and you'll have everything in one place and then especially if you wanna go back to Ikea maybe a month later and you're looking for that one product, well, you've already got it on your phone, so you've got it saved. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this tour. It was fun. I had fun pulling together ideas and thoughts for you guys. So I hope this will help you just kind of spur your imagination and see what the way you can use Ikea products in your home. As always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you get um, a notification when I upload a new video. And as always, she's a mad gardener or decorator or anything else that she wants to be.